This is Twit. You're going to love this if you're in South Korea, and if you're not, you're going to hate it. <laughs> South Korea's SK Telecom says they're rolling out a blistering fast 300 megabits per second wireless service in late 2014. By contrast, LTE goes up to about 75 megabits per second, theoretically. Uh, LTE Advanced, which they've already rolled out in South Korea, up to 150 megabits per second. The carrier says their upcoming service was just called LTE Advanced <laughs> Three Band Carrier Aggregation. A beautiful, poetic name. I love this ad. Uh, if you're watching yeah. video, the Korean guy's just blown away. He's, and, and that's that's the face you would have if you had this service. Oh, my God. So What's this, Korean for? Oh, my God. <laughs> So just, just to bring this to real terms, an 800 megabyte movie will download to your phone in 22 seconds. But you sh how many people really download 800 megabyte movies to their phones? Well, I would if it would only took 22 seconds. I think that's one, this is a reflection of a, of a couple of things. One, that South Korea, uh, you know, unfortunately here in the U.S. we have it, it, legacy infrastructure. Right. So they start, they're starting from scratch, uh, they, you know, and this is true in a lot of the rest mm -hmm. of the world. We have GSM, we have... Uh, CDMA, we have all this conflicting stuff. They they can go right to the good stuff. Yeah. But it also shows, I think, and I'm, I may be wrong. I'd love to hear from people who live in South Korea how important mobile is there. That yes. I know this is true in Japan that it many is. people don't have desktops. They right. use mobile. That's right. So you do need the speed because it is your main PC. There are a lot of uh, similarities with Japan and in Japan uh, in particular. So many people have commutes in very very crowded trains. Right. That the only they, they are have a watching huge movies. Amount, yes, yeah, and they're right. They're watching movies. They're building websites. They're doing all kinds of things that we would never dream of. Like this, yes, really exactly. close up, exactly. Yeah. And it's a similar thing in uh, South Korea. They are uh, smartphone happy, and they have really, really fast, and expect really, really fast. Do any carriers in the U.S. do LTE advanced, or are we still in the earlier? Version of I don't believe any any of the carriers Verizon, I think, do. wants to. Yeah, I think I think that's still in our future. Right. And uh, the the crazy thing about this uh, announcement, by the way, is that um, they're already promising. The, so there's a three band technology. The way they do it is they combine three bands together right. to to get this kind of performance. Right. They're looking at a future version of four to five band LTE. And in Barcelona at Mobile World Congress, when they roll this out, they're not only going to demonstrate it. They're going to demonstrate a prototype version of it that'll get up to 450 megabits per second wireless. And I don't even think that's the max. I mean, I, according to the spec, under ideal conditions, LTE Advanced could go to a gigabit. Yeah. That's amazing. It's that's absolutely amazing. incredible.